They call it Earth's twin, a planet almost the same size, the same mass, orbiting just a little closer to the sun. But if you ever set foot there, you'd be dead before you could take a single step. The air would crush you flat. The heat would melt you alive. And the sky? The sky would rain acid. This is Venus, the planet that could have been paradise, but became a hell. Billions of years ago, Venus might have looked a lot like Earth. A gentle blue world, wrapped in clouds with oceans shimmering under the sun. Scientists believe it may have had water, maybe even continents and a stable atmosphere. For a while, it could have been habitable. But something went terribly wrong. To understand how, we need to rewind time to the dawn of the solar system. When planets were still forming from dust and chaos, Venus and Earth were born almost side by side, forged from the same cosmic materials. They were siblings in every sense. Venus was just 30% closer to the Sun, not enough one might think to spell doom. But that small difference would set them on drastically different paths. As Venus formed, it received a little more sunlight than Earth, just enough to slowly warm its early oceans. Over time, that warmth began to evaporate the water, and when water turns to vapor, it doesn't just vanish, it becomes a powerful greenhouse gas. So the more water evaporated, the hotter the planet got. The hotter it got, the more water turned to vapor. A runaway greenhouse effect had begun, an unstoppable feedback loop. While Earth's climate stabilized thanks to liquid oceans and a delicate balance of carbon, Venus spiraled into madness. Its oceans boiled away completely. Without water to trap carbon dioxide in rocks, the gas built up in the atmosphere, thickening it to over 90 times the pressure of Earth's. Imagine standing on the bottom of an ocean. That's what Venus's surface feels like. Today, the temperature there is nearly 475 degrees Celsius, hot enough to melt lead. The clouds aren't soft white mist, but thick layers of sulfuric acid. Even the light is eerie, filtered through an orange haze that dims the sun to a faint glow. And the winds, they're monstrous. At the cloud tops, hurricane force gales circle the planet at 360 kilometers per hour, whipping around faster than the planet itself rotates. Venus spins so slowly that one day there lasts longer than an entire Venusian year. The sun rises in the west and sets in the east, but you'd never see it through the choking clouds. This strange, suffocating world wasn't always a mystery. For centuries, astronomers looked at Venus through telescopes and imagined a tropical paradise hidden beneath the clouds, maybe even lush jungles. Science fiction of the early 20th century was filled with stories of Venusian civilizations, oceanic cities, and exotic life. But that dream shattered in the 1960s. When the Soviet Venera probes landed, or rather, crashed on, onto the surface, they transmitted images that stunned the world. The ground wasn't green, but a barren wasteland of cracked rocks. The air was toxic. The heat was unbearable. The twin of Earth had turned into something straight out of a nightmare. The Venera landers didn't last long. The most successful ones survived only a few minutes before being destroyed by the Inferno. But in those moments, they revealed priceless information, the dense atmosphere, the crushing pressure, and the searing temperatures. They confirmed our greatest fear, that Venus is the textbook example of a runaway greenhouse effect, a planet that cooked itself to death. But here's the haunting part. Venus wasn't doomed from the start. Some scientists think it may have remained habitable for as long as 2 billion years, longer than Mars ever was. Imagine that, a world that might have had clouds, rain, and oceans for longer than there's been complex life on Earth. If that's true, then Venus may have once been alive. If life ever existed there, it's long gone now. Or is it? In 2020, astronomers detected a strange chemical in Venus's upper atmosphere called phosphine. On Earth, phosphine is produced mostly by microbes and industrial processes. For a brief moment, the scientific world was electrified. Had we just found signs of life on our hellish neighbor? Subsequent studies questioned the discovery, suggesting that the signal might have been an error. Yet the mystery remains unresolved. 
Some still believe something unusual is happening in those acid clouds. Maybe chemistry we don't yet understand, or maybe something alive. Above the deadly surface, the upper layers of Venus's atmosphere are far less hostile. Temperatures are mild, and pressures are similar to Earth's. Some researchers have speculated about floating habitats, airships drifting through the clouds, or microbial life surviving in the haze, shielded from the searing heat below. It sounds like science fiction, but so did living on Mars once. Even now, Venus continues to defy our understanding. Its rotation is backwards compared to most planets. Its magnetic field is practically non-existent. Its surface seems young, as if it was completely resurfaced by volcanic activity not long ago. In fact, there's growing evidence that volcanoes may still be erupting there today. In 2023, NASA's Magellan mission data was reanalyzed and appeared to show active volcanic changes, new vents forming, possibly spewing lava. If that's true, Venus isn't just a dead world. It's alive with fire. A planet still reshaping itself in the darkness. And perhaps, that's the most chilling part. Venus shows us how delicate the balance of life really is. A few degrees closer to the sun, a slightly thicker atmosphere, and paradise turns to hell. It's a cosmic warning. The same forces that make a planet warm and vibrant can, under the wrong conditions, destroy it completely. In a strange way, Venus holds up a mirror to our own world. We're watching Earth's atmosphere change, slowly heating under the weight of carbon dioxide. The difference is, we still have oceans. We still have time. But Venus reminds us how quickly a planet's climate can tip past the point of no return. Yet despite the danger, we're drawn to it. NASA and the European Space Agency are preparing new missions, Da Vinci, Veritas, and Vision, each one hoping to peel back another layer of mystery. They'll study the planet's geology, atmosphere, and history, searching for clues to how a world so similar to ours lost everything. Maybe, somewhere in the data, we'll find a message written in stone and sulfur, a story of warning and wonder, because Venus isn't just a nightmare world, it's a cautionary tale. It's what happens when the balance of nature breaks, when oceans vanish, when the sky turns toxic. Once, it may have been beautiful. Now, it's a furnace under eternal clouds. And perhaps, in that haunting contrast, lies the greatest truth of all. The line between heaven and hell is thinner than we ever imagined.